What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Future Aquariums, Nathan here, and today we're going to be show showing you my new saltwater fish, and be doing a review on the 24 gallon aqua top cube, so let's go. Alright guys, so here's the 24 gallon cube, when I was editing the last video I realized that maybe without the light it'll be best, and... Sure enough, it is. Here are the clowns still doing amazing. And right now, I'm currently acclimating something. Yeah. So, right now, as you probably remember from the last video, I said that um, I wanted all my stocking stuff. And one of them was a blenny. So, today I got a blenny. And here he is. Now, I, I already decided a name for him. It'll be Mr. Beans because before I forgot the actor's name, but he was playing Mr. Bean and I thought he had a funny face and this Blenny has a funny face. So he's been currently acclimating for 20 minutes around. So I'm going to acclimate him for a little bit longer until an hour and then we'll come back and put this guy into the tank. Alright guys, and just like that, an hour has passed, so same as the clowns before, take out the airline hose. Alright guys, the airline tube is out, now time to get the blenny in. So I got my handy dandy little net here, so... Alright guys, I got it. And for... I forgot to take the lid off. But for those of you that are wondering, my blenny is a bicolor blenny. So... In it goes. Come on. Man, fish always do this. They swim the opposite way. Ah, there it is. Whoa, that's actually pretty good camouflage. I, and it went up into a rock, but you can still see its eyes. Well, I can at least. It's squirming around. See, see yeah, yeah. Well, look, look at its face. Isn't it? Isn't that such a funny face? Oh my goodness. And that's why I decided to name him Mr. Bean. Because I thought his face was pretty funny. So I thought of him while I bought this Blenny and I was like, Mr. Bean. So yeah. That's the blending in. And as always, huge thanks to KHC Aquariums for getting me. Well, for, you know, for giving me a good price on this blending. I got it from there. KHC Aquarium is a place to go if you need something. I'll have the location down in the description. Alright guys, so it's been around like, uh... Two days or three days, and since or four days, I forget. But the Blenny is doing fine. He's over there. Pretty uh, and it just swam away. But in over there, like in the center of the screen, is its favorite hiding spot. Usually, it just sits perched up on like those rocks. And I can't really find him right now, but yeah. No, that's the blending. It's doing fine. Alright guys, I'm sorry. It's kind of loud. But now I will do the review on the tank. It is loud. Yes, my grandparents came from China and they're eating dinner. And obviously they're really loud. Especially my mom. What you're hearing right now is my mom. But anyway, hope you guys will bear with me. My f yeah, hope you guys will bear with me because, you know... I mean, what, 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 what am I going to do, right? But anyway, to give a proper review on this tank with the inexperienced person I am, and, you know, just stuff, I got to do pros and cons. So, let's start with the pros first, because why not? So, first of all, pro is it comes with everything. Stand, protein skimmer, light, pretty big stuff, and filtration media, return pump, and it gives you all like the things to set, set it up. So that's one pro. 
So another pro is that in the cabinet, there's two compartments. So that's another pro. Can store more stuff, I guess, or whatever. So another pro, I guess, is there's a little knock here for your wire. That's a pretty big pro because, you know, so it doesn't, it looks nicer. And another pro is it has lids so you can get fish that jump. So another pro. Another pro is that it, well, <laughs> this is a huge pro that kind of I said already. comes with the whole sump thing. Like, uh, the lighting's probably really bad old back there, but it comes with a whole sump. Comes with your whole filtration. You don't need any extra parts. It's already in the tank, so it's obvious. It's an all-in-one tank. So that is another pro. All right, guys, and uh, probably the last pro, but the it's a glass tank. I mean, that's a pretty big pro. You can use a razor blade to clean off the algae. Acrylic tank, it'll scratch. So another pro, I guess, is definitely it's a glass tank. That's definitely a huge pro. Now let's talk about the cons. The cons... I think I have a better idea of this. So, obviously, if you know your fish stuff, it's Aquatop. Now, Aquatop was never known for a quality company. Although, I really like it because their stuff are normally pretty cheap. So, you know, that's pretty good. But, if I were to buy this from somewhere else, it would have cost a bunch of money but since this is aqua top it's obviously cheaper so aqua top as i said was never known for the quality so i don't really know but i don't know if i said it in a previous video but is the protein skimmer even working i'm not sure and so that's one con protein skimmer i don't even know if it's skimming or not another con comes with a huge sponge See that? Like, wait, wait. That whole thing is a sponge. I'm definitely gonna cut that off, like cut part of it, and make it into a refugium. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I guess that's another con. Now another con is, I guess, like the I, I don't really know, but I mean, it would be better to have this. But so the light is just like so white only, and then a mad drum and then white blue and then blue only now there aren't any slow transitions or anything i mean i would have liked that but if it doesn't i don't really think it's a con but you know it'll be better if it had that so yeah and one more con i guess is this aqua top sign it it would have been cooler if you know it just wasn't there so yeah and I guess one more con is the pump. It's connected to a pipe and then a 90 degree elbow into the tank. Now 90 degree elbow, as you probably know, as you guys probably know, stops like, you know, it's harder for water to flow. So, I mean, if I were to design this, I would probably give it a flexible tubing where it can just go and then like gradually, you know, like gradually go there. So that way the flow would be a lot better. And yeah, and what well, wait, one more? I don't pro or con, I don't really know. They're not really that good into it, that good at this stuff. This pump is, I think, 400 gallons per hour, so I think that's pretty good. I'm not sure, but I'm probably gonna get another power head. Also, the light is pretty strong, so yeah. Now, as I said before, I'm an inexperienced guy with. That tank, and I'm doing a review when I only had one week in. Now, these are the things that I've noticed so far. So, I'm definitely gonna give you guys a better review, maybe I don't know, a few months later when I'm more skilled or something. Because right now, I definitely do not consider myself skilled, well, experienced, or you know, I don't consider myself good at keeping a saltwater tank. So I'll definitely, cause I don't know that much, but so I'll definitely like do another update or review on this tank. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you, if I'm missing anything and if you had experience with this tank,
let me know in the comments below. I really want to know because you guys probably know better than me. So, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I keep saying that. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.